Yeah, I mean, obviously, um, first thing I would say is to win the conference. We talked about we got to win our home games, and uh, you got to find a way to win games on the road. The success rate of road teams in the Big Sky is historically not great, um, and so for us to find a way to win a game again is uh, is starting to become a weekly thing for our team, which is is awesome. At the same time, there's as a coach and a leader, you you want your team to play to its potential. Um, which we didn't do today, uh, but that's why we have the job, that's why we work at it. I know we're committed to uh, getting better every week and hopefully uh, playing a more complete football game, but I'm just ecstatic about the team's fight and about their uh, their will to figure out ways to win games. Well, they hired a, uh, or they put a new defensive coordinator in um, this week that we weren't aware of, and so they kind of changed their entire defensive structure. So that took us off guard early in the game. They had kind of a new uh, dime package that they were working on in that scenario. So it just took us a little bit to figure out plays that we could get to uh, to be successful on the drive. Um, but I just, you know, I thought guys making big catches, Miles making big throws. You know, if you want to be successful in two minutes, you got to get a completion, you got to get a first down, you got to get a big play in the first four plays. Um, and we were able to do that to get the drive going. And then, well, obviously, what a tremendous finish there by, by two veteran guys that uh, deserve moments like that. Yeah, I mean, I think you got to be able to have fresh eyes on every play, and, and uh, we talk about having a neutral mindset in our program, and that just means we don't really ride the wave from play to play. We just attack the next play with everything we have. Um, on that drive, there's incomplete passes, there's great passes, and then uh, there's dropped passes, uh, and he's just moving on to the next play, trying to take fresh eyes, next play mentality, neutral mindset. That, to me, was the ultimate. Uh, throws a great pass. Uh, that probably should have been caught, that we don't come down with, comes right back, another play, makes the next throw and the guy comes down with it and that's, that's what a leader should do. I think the biggest drive is probably the one where they get down inside the five and then uh, Rex makes a tackle for loss and we force them to kick a field goal. Uh, obviously the adjustments by the defense, I think gave up 20 in the first half, only six in the second half. Uh, again, proves the staff their ability to adjust during the game. We knew their quarterback was going to be a problem, I thought he threw the ball really well today and their guys made some plays. And, um, our guys never panicked. They just came to the next play again and, and fought as hard as they could. And then again, getting the ball back to us to go three and out there before the two minute warning. And that's what a great defense will do, give you one more opportunity with the ball. So um, there's obviously things we want to clean up, but again, I'm, I'm just thrilled with their fight, their resolve and the Aggie pride they showed. I mean, we have a, a set group of plays that we've worked all year for those situations. I mean, I can't tell you how many times we've done that, that drill, that drive. Um, now, we've never started on our own five yard line, but we've, we've done that drill every week. We call it the Kobe drill because we want to have a, a Mamba mentality there at the end of the game and two minute, four minute. And, uh, I, you know, all the plays are plays that we've run before in practice. There was a couple things we did differently there at the end, um, just formationally to help with the, some of the coverages they were doing. Miles made a couple big throws. And then the last, the last play of the game, the, the play we called at five seconds and the play we called at one second are actual plays that we've practice last play of the game from that spot on the field and uh, they've executed both plays really well so you wonder like when are those moments going to come up and when is it going to be why are we doing this coach we do it every week and that's that's why it's going to win you a game at some point and it did today thankfully the players were talking about in 2021 they were undefeated and, and went to idaho state and uh and lost the game and you know i think they felt like they needed a game like this where where maybe they could overcome some things uh, obviously, as a head coach, you know I look at myself first. I got to do a better job of getting us to start games faster and for us to play to our potential because we've yet to do that, and that is disappointing. Um, but I'm just so proud that they fight and they, they have resolve and they overcome adversity because that's at the end of the day that's what we want to teach these guys. We want to teach these kids how to survive right in this world and how to thrive, and that's why UC Davis athletes are successful away from football and. The guys that are playing professional football because they have that mindset that'll lead to victories in the long run. Um, but I do hope we can play better, Bob, for more consistent times so we can maybe get away from these type of games. But I talked about uh, last week that I felt like when I got here with Hawk in 2017 that he really laid the foundation for what a Division I program is supposed to look like. And we hadn't really operated that way. Um, and all he did was lay a foundation and then build on that to build a, a Division One team. Um, when him and I talked as he was retiring and I was coming in, um, the discussion was about, hey, now it's time to teach these guys how to win. Now it's time to take this thing to another stage. 
And I've taken that personally as a directive from him, from someone I really love and care about, that uh, it's, it's my job to take what he's done and to build that. And that starts with learning how to win football games. So I'm really proud of them for continuing to figure out ways to do that. Um, and, I'm, and I'm equally disappointed that we can't play our best football. But uh, all I know how to do is work really hard, and I know they do too. And uh, we're just going to keep going back to that and figuring out a way for us to play more consistently and play better. Um, but learning how to win football games is not a bad thing. And uh, so I'm proud of them for doing that.